severe winds are forecast to keep temperatures below freezing in many areas, and further wintry showers are predicted over the next fortnight. Families woke to a winter wonderland yesterday after up to a foot of snow fell on Saturday night. With more dew last night, several inches settled by the end of the day leaving swaths of the UK under a thick white layer. Severe weather brought the most widespread snow for five years, sparking chaos on roads, railways and airports. Lethal black ice was expected today. Temperatures plunged to as low as 12C in Scotland on Saturday night while much of the country sank below freezing. Even lower temperatures were expected last night. Workers faced a miserable commute this morning with icy roads and pavements expected after another. Bitterly cold night and high winds were likely to cause widespread disruption for travellers. The RAC Motoring Organization is expecting 11. OOO car breakdowns today, which is 20% above the seasonal norm. Spokesman Pete Williams said, I think the big thing is people are not going to leave enough time. Journeys will take two to three times longer. It's going to be treacherous driving conditions. Quote, Highways England said thousands of tons of salt has been spread on the M1, M5, M6, M40, M42. M69 and the A5 and A49 ahead of the snow and possible black ice. Last night they urged drivers to carry warm clothing, food and drink and prepare for any eventuality before traveling. The mercury will nosedive back into minus double figures tonight with further snowfall forecast. Across the country, after a brief mild spell midweek, Bitter winds from the North Pole will blast back by the weekend. Experts warned, Arctic conditions threaten to hold out through the festive period prompting bookies to slash white. Christmas odds, James Madden, forecaster for Exacta Weather, said, Cold weather will dominate through the start of this week as northwesterly winds veer across the British Isles. This will be accompanied by further snowfall which could be heavy and disruptive across central and southern parts. Nighttime temperatures will be exceptionally cold. This period of cold weather will pave the way for further snow and cold in the run-up to the festive period. Quote, the Met Office has issued further warnings for snow and ice across Scotland this morning with a separate ice alert in the south. Forecaster Ollie Clayton said, We are expecting a really cold start to the week especially where snow has settled. Temperatures tonight could get back down to 12 C in parts. Chief Forecaster Steve Ramsdale warned people to take extra care on frozen roads and pavements. Today, some injuries are possible from falls on icy surfaces and there will probably be some icy patches on untreated roads and cycle paths. He said, yesterday brought the first significant snowfall to many parts of the country since January 2013. The biggest fall was in Senny Bridge in Wales where over a foot fell. This was followed by Hereford with 7 inches in High Wycombe and Buckinghamshire with almost the same. Meanwhile, rain showers fell across southern Britain with London, Kent and Essex getting a soaking. The West Country was also hit with 90 miles per hour winds. Stormy conditions overnight and into the early hours of yesterday led to road and bridge closures and flooding in Devon. Passengers traveling from Manchester, Heathrow and Gatwick airports faced delays while Birmingham and Luton airports suspended flights due to snow on runways. Motorists faced long delays on the M1 due to accidents with many other motorways and major roads around the country affected. The A5 in Shropshire, M40 in Warwickshire, A417 in Gloucestershire, A458 in Shropshire and the A5 near Shrewsbury were closed. A gritter overturned and landed on its roof due to the icy roads and heavy snowfall in Tamworth. St